Yo, fam, what's good with you? Look, fam, look, this is just a quick uh, public service announcement for your boy. Look, fam, check out the 2A NLA official merchandise store. We got some of the hottest gear out there, whether it's your right to bear arms cap or your 2A NLA love guns cap or that love guns tumbler that's no joke and for you more sophisticated folks you know you got that love guns wine chiller all right if you look down in the description of the video you'll see the link to the official 2a nla store 100 percent of the proceeds from the store go directly back into the channel to bring you better content all right thanks let's get this video rolling YouTube family, what's good with you? It's your boy 2A in LA, and as always, fam, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, and future episodes is just my personal opinion. Don't take it as fact, don't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, I should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome. Come on in. You can join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications. And if you are an existing supporter of the channel, fam, 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 I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. All right, let's jump into it. All right, today, fam, look, your boy, your boy did it again. I did it again. Look, fam. I had, if you guys saw my dream gun list, this gun was listed uh, as one of those dream guns for 2024. I had an order for it. I had been waiting for it for uh, quite some time and it came in. So I wanted to do an unboxing, kind of walk you through my first impressions of the gun and, uh, and talk about my plans for it. And of course we'll do a full on 2A in LA review on it. but. It comes in a very special box. Now, this is the Watchtower Apache Pew View Edition. And so it comes in this special Apache uh, Pew View box. You can see it right there. And then on the back side of it, it has, you know, the Watchtower uh, logo. Comes in like an ammo can case. You know, it comes with, you know, what you would normally expect, right? <laughs> you know, the locks, some some stickers, and, and whatnot. So, all good stuff. I love the presentation. The gun itself comes with two magazines, a 20-rounder and a 17-rounder, unless you're in California. Then it comes with two 10-rounders. <laughs> That's how that goes, right? So, without further ado, let me let you check out 2A in LA's. Watchtower Apache Pew View Edition. Fam. <laughs> Fam, what I'm going to need you to do is stop playing with your boy. Fam, this gun is sexy. Uh, as you can see, it's got that, uh, that kind of copper uh, finish on the mag well on all of the small parts uh, like the hammer and the slide release and of course uh, the trigger it has that very uh, unique uh, those very unique serrations along the side of the slide and it's got additional uh, texturing on the top of the slide and of course it has that big port uh, also the mag release has that coloring to it and so look fam this this slide is like it's butter it is buttery smooth buttery smooth this trigger very little take up clear to find wall first clean break with a reset mm, fam so I would, here's what I would say. The upper half of this gun is what you would expect from kind of a mid-tier 2011. 
good internals, um, ported, great slide serrations, buttery smooth slide, good trigger. The downfall of the gun, in my opinion, is the grip. And this probably doesn't show uh, when you look at it, it looks nice. But this is a 3D printed polymer grip. And, you know, look fam, I'll put up the MSRP up there so you can check it out. For this price point, I feel like y you could have done better on the grip. There are better polymer grips certainly to be had and really at this price point uh, do a metal grip. Now I'd rather pay an additional 500 bucks or something like that for the good grip. I know what they were trying to do is to keep and I like to keep the price down but yeah that's 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 my real in terms of first impressions I haven't had a chance to shoot the gun yet uh, we'll take it out definitely put it through its paces but you guys know me this grip is not for long NFL baby <laughs> for long I've already got plans uh, to upgrade it but everything else on the gun is very impressive like I said love the aesthetics of the gun very very attractive like I said slide is butter good internals tool is guide rod um, money trigger everything about the gun love the mag well um, love the capacity love the port I'm assuming it's going to shoot softly so if you guys watch my videos you know I kind of divide uh, the 2011 space into three tiers kind of that lower level is kind of like 2500 and less those are your staccatos those are your bull armories those are your uh, Springfield prodigies um, quality guns could be upgraded to get to that next tier if you so chose to or you could go to that next tier which is kind of like 3000 to 5500 uh, this one definitely falls into that category uh, typically once you get up there you start seeing more advanced features slide starts to get a lot more smooth the guns tend to be ported or have uh, comps on them uh, internals tend to be better a lot of times they're not perfection um, these guns aren't sometimes at that mid-tier level you get the gun and it's got all the bells and whistles but it's not there's a pretty significant break-in period this gun doesn't have that problem like I said buttery smooth slide phenomenal trigger yeah, no, no, no complaints relative to that. But what you'll also see sometimes is there's something missing. And the something missing in this instance is the grip module. It definitely could use an upgrade. But, you know, for, I think the MSRP is like 3600 For 3600 you know, you get an upgraded grip module for 500 or so. You're sitting right at... 4,000, 4,100, 4,200, still cheaper than a Staccato XC. And in my opinion, at that point, you still got to upgrade the Staccato XC because it has a polymer grip on it and the trigger isn't as good. And so if you're looking for a good value gun, so I'm going to do a head-to-head -head competition between this pistol and the Legion Precision Chirac. You guys know I love the Chirac. I talked about it quite a bit. I told you for the value, it is kind of hard to beat it as everything you could possibly want in the gun. The one knock on that gun was that it was the tolerances, all these tolerances only 2011 are tight, but the really good gun manufacturers figure out a way when they ship it, the gun doesn't feel gritty or stiff during the break-in period. Um, so the Chirac kind of has everything you want on it, but is a little rough, needs some break-in. This one is smooth as butter right out of the box, but it needs an upgrade or two. So, you know, fam, look, this is just an unboxing. Um, not trying to get into the weeds 
on it too much. But aesthetically, I think the gun is phenomenal. It's got a phenomenal trigger. Uh, slide smooth as butter. Big comp on the front. Hopefully it shoots as good as it looks. I'll let you know. So that's it, fam. Just wanted to give you guys my first impressions. Like I said, right out of the box, it's looking sweet. I'll let you guys know more in an upcoming video. All right? That's it for this episode, fam. Until next time, as always, take care of one another and peace.